Hello everyone and welcome to Computer Tech TV. I am Eric Arder. In today's video I will be talking about power supply, power cable adapters. Now most of you guys probably already know everything that I'm going to talk about in this video, but this video is for the people who are new to building computers and might not know exactly what all these adapters do or how you can utilize these adapters to uh, do different things, uh, hooking up different components and such. So let's move along. First off, you can see here I have a variety of different cables sitting out. Uh, these are the most commonly used cables and I'll show you guys basically how to connect them up as well as my opinions on whether they should be used or not. Uh, first off, let's start with this right here. This can come in handy if you are upgrading a really old computer or if you have a power supply, even if it's one like you see here in the background, this is a Corsair TX750 and you happen to run out of Molex connectors, you have a Molex splitter cable here and these are perfectly fine to use, I've used them quite often, no problems there, they just split to two moving along, this is one of the most handiest things to have right here, this is a 4-pin Molex to 3-pin fan adapter. I get so many people who, on some of my videos about the 3-pin fans, they ask, well, how am I going to connect them? I don't have room on my motherboard. My power supply doesn't have any of these connectors. I don't have a fan controller. You need this, guys. Most fans come with it, but if not, you can get it from a local micro center or probably like Radio Shack, uh, or you can get it online, eBay, for a couple bucks. Definitely comes in handy, and they make all different kinds of these. This is just one style. Um, let's go to this one real quick. This right here, it's a little fancy, but this is just a Molex to SATA power. And this is perfectly fine to use as well. Use these all the time. This is actually a NZXT braided model. So now moving along to some things that I do not highly recommend to use however you can if you really need to however if you're buying things that are requiring these you should have the money to upgrade your power supply as well first off we have a 2 Molex to 6 pin adapter now this is more acceptable to use especially because most people who are using these just have one 6 pin that they're using because they're upgrading from an older computer so that's perfectly fine. I wouldn't use two, but if you have a situation where you have one six pin, you need two six pins, this is good for a temporary solution. I would always recommend upgrading your power supply, however. <clears throat> and another thing to note, if your power supply does not have the correct power supply as far as amps goes and watts, using an adapter is not going to make a difference. This right here is a six pin to eight pin adapter. Now this right here, I do not recommend. And it even says on the sticker here, this adapter cable is for connectivity only for use with the NVIDIA GTX blah blah blah. This is not a power booster. Using this adapter can cause the card to become unstable and have no display at all. See, so they're even telling you right now that this is not a good way to go, but they include it. I mean, it can work. I've never used one. Like you, you can see, it's still in the package. This is from a GTX 280. But like I said, these come with several cards so don't use these guys if you do buy a card for example a high-end card that requires something like this please buy a power supply that will work properly with it or most likely you're already gonna have a power supply so as far as connecting this stuff up guys it's really quite simple I'm sure you guys um, can easily figure it out but you have your Molex connector here and then you basically just plug in one here and these things are tricky. I really do hate Molex connectors. Plug it in there and then for example on this you'll need two of them so you just plug in one more there once it eventually goes in. But you guys get the idea. And then all the other ones are just the same and for the pass through here you'll notice there's a pass through. You plug in the power here and then this can pass through to another connector or um, pretty much anything else or you can just have it sitting there you can use it like this or you can unwrap it I mean it gets pretty long it's a good 12 almost 15 inches long so that is about it guys um, if you have any questions still on power adapters please let me know but I hope that that uh, 
helped you guys out quite a bit. And thanks a lot for watching, guys. You guys all have a great day and lots more videos to come.